The rule of thirds is probably the fundamental building block of all of the rules of composition. What you do is you draw two imaginary vertical lines on your image, equally spaced apart, thus dividing it into one, two, three sections. Two more horizontal lines equally spaced apart, and you have one, two, three sections. By placing points of interest or your subject along or near those lines, particularly where they cross, where they meet, you will get a much more pleasing composition. So how do we use this in reality? I've got a windmill over here which I prepared earlier. Now, if we put this windmill smack in the middle of the frame, yeah, it's a kind of interesting shot because it's a windmill on a nice day, but let me just step out of the picture. Just contemplate that for a moment. It's okay, but is it a pleasing composition? Would you think, that's great, I want that on my wall? Possibly not. So what do we do? We need to move the windmill to a different place in the picture. Now obviously I can't pick up the windmill and move it, so all you've got to do is change the direction your camera's pointing. I've got an imaginary rope attached to the front of the video camera, and I'm going to pull the camera over this way to place the windmill on the vertical third on the left-hand side. So let's come over this way a bit. There we go. As we ease it over, it's looking better already. Right, now we've got the windmill sat on the vertical third on the left-hand side of the picture. The gap on the left-hand side of the picture is a third of the way in. But it's probably sitting a little bit high in the frame. So what we now need to do is to make the windmill go a bit lower. And we do that by tilting the front of the camera up a bit. That's also going to place that bank along the bottom third. So your windmill is sitting nicely in the crook of a vertical third and a horizontal third. Let me get out the picture again so you can have a look. That is considerably better than putting it in the middle. Let's just pop it back in the middle again. So we're going to go down and we're going to go left with the camera that is, which has the opposite effect on the subject. It's not that interesting. Let's go back to something a bit nicer. Back onto that rule of thirds. And we're doing this with the video camera so that you can see it's just moving the camera. That's all you have to do. Now you can apply this to anything. It doesn't just have to be in landscape or a windmill. You could use it on a portrait, on a building. You can use it on flowers. And I suggest what you do is when you're looking at a magazine or watching a TV programme, just imagine these imaginary third lines and see if it applies to the image. It won't apply to all of them, but it will apply to many more than you might imagine.